Hi, Dave and Josh here with another Greenleaf investing tip. One thing we get a lot of questions on is 1031 exchanges. Kind of what are they? How do they work? And how do I get involved? Right? Yeah, so the 1031s are a great tool that were developed by the IRS a couple decades ago. But it allows us to basically take an asset. For example, we own, we, we own an apartment property that we bought eight years ago. We renovated it, operated it, made it cash flowing, and then we sold it four years into holding it and used a 1031 exchange to buy a mobile home park. We renovated it, operated it, cash flowed, and did very well. And now we're, we recently sold that asset and are now buying an industrial park. And we were able to do that all tax deferred. Yeah, along that way, in the apartment example, if we invested a million dollars in that apartment deal and we earned an additional million dollars uh, for the partnership, we don't pay any taxes on that gain. And we were able to then go out and purchase a new mobile home park with those, with those gains. And again, earn more money there, increased our capital uh, value. And when we sold that, you know, earned un called another million dollars. So now we have this incremental increase in values all along the way where investors are not paying capital gains taxes. Uh, and in our deals, and lots of 1031s and different groups do these things differently, but in our deals, those initial investment dollars, as they grow, the new preferred returns from each subsequent deal are paid out on those uh, increased capital account values that are done prior to taxes. So a deal we did eight years ago that's now in its third generation of uh, being exchanged. Investors are earning returns based on their current value versus their original investment. Hope this investment tip is helpful. Thanks for watching. For more tips on operating and investing in real estate, please check us out at greenleafmanagement.com or find us on YouTube and Spotify.